What up, Card Kingdom family? Kenji back for some more drafting here on Magic Online. Some more Vintage Cube ahead of us. Not my favorite version of the Vintage Cube, but we can still do a lot of fun stuff, of course. We have successfully opened a piece of power here for pick one, pack one, and we will take it. It is the Mox Emerald. Other good choices in the pack for me. Talarian Academy, Lightning Bolt, Thoughtseize, and a couple other lands, but yeah. Obviously, you're going to take the Mox Emerald and uh, be pretty happy with it. What will we get follow? Ooh, a channel follow-up? Okay. I haven't done some big, nasty green things in a while. I think pick one, pack one, Emerald into pick two channel seems like a pretty good place to live. Um, one of the more bo busted cards you can get in this pack, certainly. Flooded Strand, another good one, but yeah, okay. I think we have a game plan already. Let's see if we can get Eldrazi and whatnot to, to round her out as we get, I suppose, a Nissa pick three. Why is Hollow One in this? Huh, okay, there must be some weird archetype where Hollow One is relevant, but I mean, I don't want to be third picking Nissa, but Nissa is good, of course. Helps cut off the green, if nothing else. Let's see, Boseju is a fantastic choice here. Relic is good. Jar's fine. Metamorph. Mm. Oh, you know what we passed? In uh, pack one, we opened the Tortured Existence. The enchantment that you can discard a creature and return a creature from your graveyard to, to your hand. That with Insidious Roots is a really fun combo. It's not infinite because your creatures don't uh, have haste. Although I think there are ways to give your creatures haste. Um, that's kind of neat. Nah, but Passage is just way too good. Easy pick given our start. Do we want to follow that up with another Nis uh, Nissa here, or do I want to take Sylvan Library? Walking Ballista also okay with channel, though it's not an insta win. Just quite strong. Hogax in this as well. Interesting. I think Sylvan Library, probably a better choice here, just because the Nissa is more likely to wheel, would be my guess. Lightning Greaves, Lush Portico, and nothing. Given that we have Channel, we can take the Lightning Greaves here and actually go for, like, the turn one kill, right? Emerald, Forest, Channel, Greaves, Blightsteel, Colossus, or something to that effect. Could be kind of neat if we can pull it off. Fauna Shaman here is okay, not great. I could take Lion's Eye Diamond. That's not usually a card you play in green decks, but it is a nice combo card. Eh, I guess Fauna Shaman's probably a little bit better here, given what we have. Okay, I will take Spell Seeker now, because that grabs Channel. Passing a Scavenging Ooze, Hangerback Walker. I guess Yogmoth if we wanted to go the more creature green black route. Ah, we didn't wheel the um, tortured existence anyway, so somebody might be going for that. We'll take Augur. Not a big fan of this, but it's fine. Passing a relic and an Urborg, I suppose. So green, I don't really tend to play the artifacts that much because you have much better ways to accelerate, namely just the fast creature, fast mana creatures. So I don't think Dynamo is all that important here. I'm going to actually just take Dig Through Time, though I might not end up running that either. Zerda is cool. Tutor doesn't grab enough right now, but I guess I'm more likely to run the Tutor than I am Zerda. I will potentially run the Jar. I'll take the Hogak. All right. Solid enough pack one. Didn't see any of the fatties we were looking for. The only uh, couple of colorless cards we found for channel were Hangerback and Ballista. But yeah, any of the Eldrazi are great. Um, Lightsteel, like I mentioned before. What else? Sundering Titan is usually fine. Yeah, we'll know it when we see it. And we do not see it here, though we do have a Mystical Tutor. 
And the reason I'm so high on this right now is because it's another way to grab channel. And the green cards here are not really that impressive. Like Questing Beast and Tarmogoyf are both okay, but I don't think they're as good as being able to tutor for our channel. Catacombs would also be a solid pickup, especially with the Augur and the Library. Mm, I suppose I'd rather take Verdant here. The, the Mystical Tutor is more likely to wheel, and it's not like we need it all that badly. Whereas we know the Catacombs is good. Elf, Misty, Ren, Hexdrinker, Scalding Tarn, even a Gta. This is a nice pack. Uh, is Elf just the best choice, though? Man, I think the Misty Rainforest is really close. But... The green deck really needs its mana accelerants, and I don't want to take the chance that it doesn't come back around. We'll take the prime time now. Oh, we got the Hogak. Here's the Altar of Dimensiona for it. Sack a creature, target player, mills cards equal to sacrifice creature's power. Hogak with the Altar of Dementia is kind of a funny win con. Where are the Eldrazi? There's a Primus, but that's not a good channel hit. I guess Waterlog Grove here over Mox Diamond. No, I think Mox Diamond's a little bit too good. Another way for us to get a turn one channel. There we go. There she goes. Ah, another really good pack though. Cradle, Windswept Heath. How badly do I need this Emrakul? Is channel my only way to do it? I guess. Yeah, I'm going to take the Emrakul over Cradle and I'm going to just cry a little bit. Fintorn Elves over Botanical Sanctum. We don't even need to be playing blue, you know? Though, again, the Spell Seeker for Channel is pretty solid. All right, we'll just take Chariot here. Obviously a good green card. Yeah, this is good. Maybe more important than um, the fixing, if I could just get a random... Blue green, or rather the fetch fixing that we've passed. Just getting a random blue green duel would be good too. Eh, Outline Liberator's fine. It's not a card I think of when I think of Vintage Cube, but it's totally reasonable. Comes down early and plenty of good targets for it, of course. Eh, nothing of note here. Maybe? I mean, Corpse Dance Emrakul is a thing. Ren and Realm Breaker over the Peatland, I think, makes sense. Wall of Roots. There's the Altar back, too, but nah, the Wall of Roots is better. Primus. We might run that. And a couple of random pickups. All right. Did not wheel any of the fetches or whatever, but that's not entirely surprising. And we have enough playables going into pack three, so this is not too much of a concern. I would like one more good target for uh, channel purposes. What is this? Headliner Scarlet. Four mana, three, three haste. ETB. Creatures target player controls can't block this turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library face down. You look at that and play it this turn. That's pretty strong. Uh, Shallow Grave now with Emrakul? Actually, you know what? We could Corpse Dance here. We could definitely Corpse Dance Shallow Grave Emrakul. Wheel the Survival of the Fittest. I already have Fauna Shaman too. And if we could just get like one more decent way to discard a card. 
Yeah, that's a backup way. Let's do that. Raphelos, Vampiric Tutor, Time Spiral. Uh, I guess we want the vamp now for the setups, don't we? We're turning into more like a green-black combo deck. Yeah, let's take the vamp. Ooh, nice pack. There is another solid channel hit. God, there's fourth Irelingus here, Underworld Breach. Carry added is also great. Is carry added better than portal? Man, I kind of want to take the frantic too, just as another way, because again, with Emrakul, it's going to trigger to shuffle itself back in the graveyard, so. I have two ways to bring it back, but I need more ways to discard it. Ah, but I think Portal's probably a little bit too good. And Time Twister 2. There's Breeding Pool, but I don't think that blue is on line with what we're doing anymore. Let's take the Halfling. Ugh, I passed two draw sevens. Hurts. Okay, there's another good colorless hit. Let's take the Emrakul, the Promised End. Inquisition, great. Grist, great. Battlesphere would be great. Jeez, Louise. I can, we can probably cut the Primus now. We just have better options. Oh, that's brutal. So many good cards. Zurin Orb. Oh, we could play the Bazaar of Baghdad. That's not out of the question of things. Uh, did we do that, though? I think we just take Pilgrim. Hey, there's the hook. Oh, there's the Entomb and the Natural Order. No. They put all of the good cards in one freaking pack for us. That's brutal. Oh, that's so brutal, dude. That's so sick. What's going to make our deck better, Entomb or Crater Hoof? Man, that's frustrating. Ugh, I think it's Hoof. The heck is this card? Untap target creature until in a turn it gains hexproof reach, and whenever this becomes tapped, it deals damage equal to its power to target. To one target. So another green black land, or we can take Unearth. Unearth's not shabby. Actually, Zeators is also fine as another green black duel, I suppose. We have enough playables, so Zeators makes the most sense. This is technically a way to discard a card. Oh, I'm not sure we want to be playing that. Hey, Raphelos Wield. Okay. Hmm. Living Death, sadly, not good with um, Eon's Torn. Don't think we're playing the Stitcher Supplier. There's Grist. That's a huge pickup. All right, we don't need Jar. This deck's pretty cool. Need to cut one or two cards. I think we can probably cut the Outloon Liberator and sideboard it in as necessary. Yeah, I man, this this reanimate package is just not quite good enough, I feel like. Right? We just don't have the consistency to put the cards in the graveyard. Like, probably still worth running Grist, but Shallow Grave Corpse Dance, not good enough. Oh, we didn't wheel the uh, uh, Survival of the Fittest. That, yeah, that. I think that, if we had wheeled that, we would have. But I'm just remembering now, we were trying to wheel Survival and somebody took it. It's a little bit surprising, actually. Hmm. 
Okay, I guess I will just run the Liberator then. Um, I mean, we could still run like a value, weird value corpse dance. I have the, the Fauna Shaman and Tutor. So it's not like it's impossible for us. I guess Ren and Realm Breaker can kind of mill as well. Hmm. I don't think we need the buyback. I think we'd rather just have the cheaper spell in this scenario then, right? Okay, I'll run Shallow Grave, but I don't think we're going to run the Corpse Dance. Generally, we're going to try to be hard casting that stuff. So we get that, 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 that. I don't think we need the Silent Clearing. Uh, we're only going to need, what, one, two, three, maybe one or two swamps, tops. 15 land Mox Diamond's a little bit shallow, though. But this is a lot of mana sources. Mm. I'm feeling like the diamond might actually not be good here. Maybe we do want jar? Maybe I cut the liberator, add jar, and just add a 16th land. Then just cut one rando. What is the rando we cut? I don't know. Could also just be lazy and run 41 cards. <laughs> All right, let's go with laziness. That looks cool. Missing a little bit to really have the insane shallow grave corpse dance and cool plan, but we still have other ways of either just hard casting or I guess channel is hard casting, but. Yeah, now this should be fun. Let's go off to round one here of this Vintage Cube Draft. Alrighty, round one here of this Vintage Cube Draft. Turn one Sylvan Library, probably good enough to keep. Especially with the fetch in our hand as well. Our opponent is also on 41 cards. They've chosen wisely. Vamp Tutor, oh. We could actually channel portal on our channel. Man, no, that doesn't do anything, does it? But yeah, we could go um, Finhorn Elves plus Vampiric Tutor if we really wanted to. But getting the Sylvan Library online first still makes sense because the Tutor is still a secondary shuffle effect. Let it strand into Xander's Lounge. Right. Well, if they're more controlly, that's probably a okay thing for us. Mm. I'm just gonna put both of those on top. Catacor catac uh, catacombs, rather elf and pass. Currency Converter is a nice one. All right, let's shuffle both those forests away. Mortuary enters tapped, right? And what can we grab here? Technically, I could channel Prime Time next turn, but that does not seem good enough. I think we just hold the... Uh, The tutor for now, and just mortuary. Uh, yeah, that seems fine to keep. It also helps getting through Sylvan Library garbage. Oh, well. I guess I'll put those both on top now. For the Nis. 
Don't want to animate the mortuary because then if they kill it, I lose my black source. Ooh, we're going to reanimate a Tali. In which case, they would steal my um, Ren, which that's not too problematic. Okay, I guess they're going to steal my... Yeah, that's interesting. I could see them stealing any of these three cards. All right, they took the prime time. Um, do we want a vamp tutor here? Is there anything that's like a really good win card? I don't think we do it yet. Oh, there's Shallow Grave. Oh, wait, we have the win, right? Yeah, I should have the win here. So I can go tap this for black. Untap it with Nissa. Um, oh, no, 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 no. This is not guaranteed. Ooh. What I'm thinking is I vamp tutor for Emrakul, put it on top, and then Ren. Oh, no, that's, that'll still work. That'll still work. Oh, wait, does Hoof just work better then? Is Hoof safer? Because remember, the, the Ren Mills 3, so I might not hit the right creature. In fact, if I hit creature creature, that would be a loss, but I guess we'll go for it. Because we can also just put it into our hand. All right, nice. So we take the auger. It's better to cast the auger first, then shallow grave for one extra creature on the battlefield. So 15, 20, 23, 24 damage, and they have 6 toughness. Nice, and that was turn 4. We took, oh, what was that? Snuff out. Oh, they messed up, though. They messed up. They needed to snuff in response to the Crater Hoof trigger, and they messed up on not putting the currency converter creature in the graveyard. So this is still lethal, right? Oh, no, they go to one. Okay. Okay. Hey. Well, I can't count, but... Sure. Maybe they didn't mess up. In fact... Oh, if they reanimate my hoof somehow? No, they don't have enough creatures, and I'm still at plenty of life. Mmm. Well, they haven't conceded yet. Dark Ritual. Okay, wait. What? They Chrome Mox Dark Ritual instead of casting Dark Ritual. Lingering Souls discarded. Well, now I just don't even know what's going on, but 
it would appear we are okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, that was weird. Uh, I didn't take the Relic of Progenitus. The Liberator seemed okay versus them. Currency Converter Chromox. Might even be able to snipe like an Animate Dead if they have it. Guess I can just take out Chariot here. And go to next. Alright, on to game two where we have another nice Mox Emerald opening hand. No. Okay, I was going to say, don't take it from me. That is also not a good one for us to see. Oh, well. Just like we drew it up, I guess. Oddly, or awkwardly rather, I'm going to play out the Liberator here. Because um, we would like to cast Grist or Ren next turn. It's bone Shards. Bone Shards, Astral Dragon. Yeah. Okay. Let's go grab Swamp, and I think we want to get Grist online first. Build Mox Diamond. We didn't want to draw that anyways. All right, so when Astral Dragon enters, they make two tokens that are copies of target non-creature permanent, except they're three threes as well. Isn't on the battlefield. So they could, in fact, copy Grist, oddly, but I don't even know if that would be good. Now we'll uptick first and mill, then we'll Mortuary. Mill both Seiju. Prime time. We can't actually cast that next turn. Yeah, uh, so I think we're just going to bin that. And I'm going to minus on Ren here and try to find a little bit more action again. Halfling, Pilgrim, and Rafelos, okay. Well, Rafelos won't be too bad since we have quite a few forests in addition to the uh, Greaves to protect him. So Ren and Six, or rather Ren and Realm Breaker makes it so my lands can add one mana of any color, but they do not become every land type. They have their own Grist. Uh... We just want to chump here, because now we can kill their Grist with mine. Oh, I guess what I can do... Oh, no, they could just chump the 3-3 three, three in that scenario. All right, well, we're not doing exciting things. We killed them last time on turn four, but... So I think we're just going to Ren minus two again and try to find another something to do. 
Okay, they discard land, so no fatty Rian. Well, they already have Astral Dragon in their graveyard, I guess. Hey, that's pretty good. How much mana do I have access to if I play Forest? It would be 4, 8, 9, 10. So let's just uptick Grist. Build a forest. Um, yeah, let's mill three again with uh, Ren. Wall of Roots, Elf, and a Sylvan Library. Okay, library it is. Make a treasure with the converter that had exile the land. Talisman. Priest of Fell Rites. Do I win if I just grab Hoof next turn? I think I do. So I can't cast Ember Cool. Oh, I can cast the Eons Torn. Oh, sorry, the uh, Promised End, but. No, I think hoof is what we want to do here. Uh, pay four. Oh, I meant to pay four there. Whoopsies. That's one less creature I have now. Nice thing is we do get to give the insect token that just entered haste, so still should be lethal, but I should be pumping my creatures for a little bit more. All right, we'll take the first match there. Not too bad, and let's go off to round two. Okay, round two of this Vintage Cube draft, and we have the turn one channel, though we have the wrong Emrakul. There, man, if I was on the play... I might actually be tempted to instead to go Forest, Emerald, two Mana Dorks. Because then we could go like Emrakul and Primetime on turn two. Well, I guess I would go down to like one life. That would be risky, wouldn't it? Or I'd go down to like three life. Yeah, it's probably just better to turn one Emrakul. Titania. Okay. And a Hex Drinker, sure. And a ruby. Okay. Eh, you know what? There's a little bit of merit just to going mana dork, mana dork here. But, I mean... Eh, I think channel Emrakul, even if it's the promised end, is good enough. 
Oh, I guess I only lose 12 life, don't I? All right, so we'll eat their Hex Drinker and hopefully ruin their hand. Otherwise, yeah, we get to Green Sun and Wasteland their own land. That's great. Get to take a peek at their deck. Berserk. Chariot, they do have Time Walk, Nissa, Natural Order. Natural Order doesn't grab anything too problematic, though. Just Prime Time, but then the rest are just a, like a bunch. Wow, they have three different four power hasty creatures. Okay, but I don't think they're going to have a way to beat this. Um, Emrakul now, right? They would need to draw blue source into Oko consecutively. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice little game one there for us with the turn one Emrakul. I could see living death being good versus them. I, it's just the double black is a little bit hard to hit. I can probably add a one or two more swamps to do so. This does hurt my um, my uh, Rafello slightly, but that's probably okay. Oh, new thing! It says leads the match one zero. All right, game two. This is a turn to Ren and Realm Breaker. Uh, that doesn't seem good enough to me. I think we mulligan that hand. All right, we're going down to five. So pitch the greaves. I think I'm also going to pitch the Chariot. Oh, well, I can go turn one Augur of Autumn if I want to. I guess that's probably fine. Generous Ent. There's their blue source. We do not want to be drawing a forest next turn. That is really bad. All right, green sun for one of their mana dorks. Okay, Verdant was actually pretty good. So we're going to definitely shuffle away that forest uh, and grab Mortuary. Hopefully they just cast one of their hasty four drops. Oh, nope, this is natural order. Well, uh, so we saw what they can get, but I guess we don't know what else was in their hand. It is possible they have something better than prime time. No, they don't. Okay, turn three prime time is still going to be really problematic, of course. Wasteland or Verdant. I'm still going to grab Mortuary here. Shallow Grave. Yeah, we put that in the graveyard. Drawing Vamp Tutor maybe gives us a hope. Ah, they're probably going to Wasteland my Mortuary now, which means I don't get to cast this Prime Time next turn. Is there anything I can vamp tutor that saves us? I don't think so. I guess we could actually rip a land off of the or underneath the prime time. All 
Or maybe they just tap out for something. Titania Verdant Catacombs. Okay. Oh, if they had a land to play, they should have definitely blown up my land. Oh, I can't play that. I don't have the mana. But I do have the three different creature types. Damn, that's too bad. Or not creature types, creature powers, I should say. Yeah. Probably losing this game. There's the Oko. Okay. You know what? I should have grabbed two swamps. Because if now, now if they wasteland my mortuary, I don't think I can actually win. Because I can't tutor and grab... Um, I won't be able to tutor and grab... Sorry, tutor and play Living Death anymore. Although if that's my out, I should actually be chumping with everything, right? Oh no, because I might need to hit a land underneath the auger. Okay, so I need I should block like this and hope that they don't blow up my mortuary. Oh god, they didn't. They just gave me a chance here. Unless they have a counter. Which, if they didn't blow up, they might have, like, a remand or something, I guess? Oh, maybe we are still dead. Oh? Uh, that may search, may search. Play the land off the top. Hope that they block here. Nice. Running straight into our living death. Wow, we're punishing them so hard for not blowing up the right lands. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Wait, why are they all under their control? Oh, okay, some weird bug or something. Um... Hoof on top. I don't actually think we get to hoof next turn. I have to. I think I have to do this. Well, channel is one of the worst possible hits. Because they, I think they are now probably on a wasteland. Plus they can um, Oko my prime time anyways. And the wall of roots doesn't attack. So we wouldn't have had enough power. Right? Because I'm going to have to chump the end. So, I think bottoming the hoof was correct, as much as it sucked. That just kills me next turn. Uh, and we're drawing channel? 
and I don't have enough mana, so I need to draw Emrakul, um, the Promised End. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work, because I have to chump the end, so I can't cast Cre- yeah, so we're just dead here. Unless they for some reason decide not to attack with the end. Yeah. Dang it, because me chumping means I can't do anything now. Alright, GG's. Well, that was a mulligan to five, and we kind of, uh, did some cool stuff there. Kind of. I think they'll be more wary of my living death now, that's for sure. So Portal to Phyrexia is probably the card we really want to hit versus them, but yeah, let's go to game three. Third and final game here of second round. Blech. Another really weak hand. The Living Death with Ren and Realm Breaker is kind of cute though, so I guess I'm going to keep it. This really wanted to hit some mana acceleration. Okay, don't want to draw land. Maybe we can draw Rafelos off the top or something nice. Oof, God. That, that's one of the cards we were really hoping that we would mill or surveilled into the grave. If we had surveilled the Crater Hoof in the graveyard, that would have been so good. Yeah, I don't... Eh, I'm not confident in this hand. Goif. Well, that makes my Ren really awkward as well, doesn't it? There's no point to animate a land there. Okay, Tarmogoyf into Oko, what are we doing? What are we doing to me? Uh, it doesn't make sense to hold back the Tarmogoyf. Are they going face? Interesting, they're just trying to pressure me. Okay, if we hit Emrakul, that would be hilarious. Big Emrakul it is. Damn. Delighted halfling in a land. Darn it. We did also just make their... Um, Tarmogoyf bigger by not taking... or rather by milling the channel. Not liking my chances here, friends. Hand wasn't very good, and it didn't draw very well either. Yeah, more hasties. They might just hit me for 10 here. I don't even think that would be a bad play. They will kill the Ren, it's fine. I kind of just forced to fire off this living death. Not ideal. Oh, they even immediately get the food off of the generous Ent to uh, animate with Oko. That's funny. Oh, can they cast two creatures to trigger the Vengevine too? They can! Another haste! Oh my god, we're so dead. Yeah, I don't think we have any outs. Oh, it was just lethal. Alright, nice! Oh, good, good draw for them. Bad draw for us. GG's. Go win the round three.
All right, here for the third and final round of this vintage cube draft. Uh, this is probably fine. We can pitch prime time and whatever. I'm turn one mana accelerant. Probably just going to end up pitching the hoof, would be my guess. Turn one Shadow Spear, so they might be on like black white aggro. Oh, we did it! We freaking did it! We have the Fauna Shaman and we ripped the Shallow Grave off the top. That's nice. Yep, so let's go grab Forest here. Oh, actually, I can't play Ren. Wait, Legendary. I can play Ren. Uptick Pass, hold up Fauna Shaman. Samwise the start did. That's fine. Good thing that wasn't a uh, containment priest. I mean, we really want them to just equip Shadow Spear and attack. That would be incredible. fine as well. Alright, so they're going to be left with one permanent here. Because right now they have six, or seven rather. Oh, well, we also just ripped channel. Um... I still think it's probably better to Fauna Shaman, right? Because <laughs> then we can retutor the Emrakul and channel it next turn. <laughs> All right, that was good. Let's just run it back, go to the next game. All right, on to game number two. We have high rolled with this hand as well. If we can find any creature, this will be a very quick uh, Shallow Grave Emrakul once more. If we don't find a creature in the next couple draw steps, we're doing nothing, but... We'll just cross our fingers. Was that? Oh, tear asunder on my damn mocks. That hurts. That was a good draw. Um, Spellbinder. All right, so we just have to let this happen. It means we do not get to shallow grave them next turn. We'll be one mana off. Oh, unless I draw Mox Diamond. We could draw Mox Diamond. And you know what? Actually, no, they might take Wall of Roots here. No, that was, I like that too. Although, now I can still draw any creature and maybe do stump. Well, that only hits them for 13. So, that's not actually the one we want to hit. If we had hit uh, the Eon's Torn, we would have effectively won. But Promised End is just 13 damage there, which, while good, doesn't really accomplish much, you know? Uh... 
Uh oh, well, they're just passing. Wandering Emperor, and they can kill my Fauna Shaman. Nice. All right, uh, so what do we do about that? What are we grabbing now instead? Because obviously that was an entire game plan. We could just go for Augur of Autumn value. Or I could grab a one drop so I could go wall of roots into one drop. Yeah, anyway, you slice it. We're not looking so hot. Greaves, huh? I mean, there's merit in just shallow graving the Emrakul to kill their wandering emperor, I guess, but maybe not enough. It was nice we did hit a land off of that. Fractured identity. You got me. Stole my stole my baby. Oh, they missed one damage. So we can go four mana wall of roots into lightning greaves here. Take five in the air. We can cast prime time next turn. Recurring nightmare, but they have nothing in their graveyard at the moment. Uh, if this prime time resolves and we get to move the greaves over to it, we're actually looking pretty good, I think. You know what? There might have been a little bit of merit to actually going face. Because then, oh no, because I've been the Remphalos. I was going to say, because then maybe uh, Shallow Grave on the 13 Emrakul can kill them. Keep thinning out the deck. Met two on board. Okay, they're killing Grist, which is funny because I believe I can shadow, shallow grave the Grist now because he's a creature while in the graveyard, right? That's fine. Oh no! They can blow up the memory jar! Oh, that's brutal. Um, do I sack it in response? 
I would need to hit Crater Hoof. Let's do it. Okay, my graveyard. Oh, this works. No, this doesn't work. This doesn't work because Emrakul is going to shuffle away the Vampiric Tutor hits. Damn it. So I'm going to need to get lucky. This doesn't work, right? Oh, they have ooze too! <laughs> I drew them into ooze. No! It doesn't matter the order since they have ooze, plus I can't cast Shallow Grave. Damn, all right, funny game. Well, no, I'm not dead on board. I'm at one on board. Yeah, that's funny. Funny, 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 funny. Oh wait, I'm dead to Athari because they have recurring nightmare in their hand. Never mind. Right, 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 right. All right, you got me. Well, their deck, their, their deck looks like a little bit of a mishmash, which I think we should be able to beat that pretty easily. They do have a couple of annoying cards, but that wasn't even a very good draw for us. We were all in on the Fauna Shaman plan, so. I will say... Their deck is a mish mishmash, but it's got good cards in it. We saw Athari, we saw Minskin Boo and stuff. Like, we can definitely still lose. I, our deck just has a more streamlined game plan, I guess is how I should put it. That looks good enough to me. Turn one Elf, turn two Augur, turn three Chariot. We might not need to do anything busted, but if we're just early and good... Shell Doc Isle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like five color good stuff. Love it. Yeah, Channel Hoof doesn't really work because you need five green sources. Channel Chariot's not, or Channel Portal's not bad. Um, well, actually, I guess if we draw a, uh, green source under portal, we might just win on turn four, right? All right, boo, exiled my chariot. Uh, I think a land still wins here. Uh, rather, a forest underneath the portal still wins here. Yeah, because channel in the hoof, I think, is GG's. That's turn four lethal. Turn four attacking you for 7, 14, 21, 31 damage. All right, we'll take it. Not too shabby. I think that was a 3 0 quality deck, but round two, um, I kept a sketcher hand and didn't really get there. So good stuff. Not a bad showing. Didn't really get to Emrakul as much as we would want, but we did do some good green things. So as always, friends, thanks for watching, and we'll see you back next week for some more. Bye bye.